a man in space. In Toulouse, the Centre for Development of Activities and Operations in Microgravity and a French research laboratory in Strasbourg. All three are linked by science with all elements gathered to conduct numerous experiments. One good example is energy. It's a long-term study done with 10 astronauts, the latter Thomas Pesquet aboard the International Space Station. Uh, we are at the Microgravity Center of CNES. Um, it's where its members follow live the accomplishment of experiments conducted aboard ISS, as it's the case for Thomas Pesquet. And uh, it's Cécile behind who oversees the protocol, minute by minute, to be sure that the astronaut who is in ISS respects the different phases of the experiment. Uh, good morning, flight. This is Ken Moss. And uh, just to let you know that I'm ready to support energy today. Energy is a protocol which has been developed to measure the energy needs of the astronauts for relatively long duration flights. The objective is to determine what will be the quantity of food to embark for planetary exploration missions to the Moon or Mars as they are currently being discussed. Yesterday, Cécile saw the moment when Thomas was putting the accelerometer on his arm to check if the tension on the armband was good and if he will stand it during 10 days. The microgravity center in Toulouse implements the experiment so it can take place aboard the ISS. Its task is also to train the astronaut who will conduct it in space. Finally, the center gives all support to the space station during the accomplishment of the experiment. The data collected is then sent via Soyuz for analysis in this laboratory in Strasbourg. Uh, here we are, opening the samples we just received from Tema, coming directly from the ISS. There are different samples of urine collected during 10 days of tests. After having filtered the samples with active carbon, the tubes will be placed in a mass spectrometer so they can be analyzed and listed on a computer. The center will provide us with an inventory of all the food taken by Thomas up there uh, for all the time of the exercises he made during our 10 days of tests. Uh, here, for example, uh, we can see on this table the energy consumption of Thomas every day, uh, how much he spent. Um, for example, here are the numbers of steps he made, knowing that in his steps there are also a large part of physical activity since he performs two hours of sport per day. Uh, thus here we have a summary of the 10 days of our energy test of the activity of Thomas. Uh, here it's in the station and after we will compare this with the data we have on the ground. Thomas Pesquet and the different members of the energy experiment don't only exchange virtually. They met a few months ago at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne during the ground test phase. Here, it's an autograph from Thomas when we made the experiment in Cologne. We had a good time together. It's really a very good souvenir, particularly a nice astronaut. Exchanges are numerous during scientific missions, and for the different actors of energy, the experiment is close to reveal its secrets. In September 2018, energy will be completed, and we hope by the end of September 2018, to be able to start putting everything in coherent data, to statistically process the data and begin to write a scientific article on this study that lasted almost 10 years. Beyond energy, there are many more scientific experiments conducted by the European Space Agency, 400 kilometers above our heads.